Get over here! Warner Brothers actually sponsored this video and challenged me to make Scorpion's iconic kunai, his spear chain. Here we go. Get over here! I don't know about you guys, but I grew up playing Mortal Kombat, and one of my favorite characters of all time was Scorpion, mostly because of his iconic move, GET OVER HERE! Which is why I'm super excited that Mortal Kombat is actually coming to theaters April 23rd, and exclusively streaming on HBO Max in the US, and available in theaters and to rent at home in Canada. And it's R-rated, which means we can expect unapologetic violence and gore. And I'm even more excited to make Scorpion's iconic kunai, his spear chain. Sounds kind of dangerous, but you know me, that's right up my alley. How exactly we're going to build a spear that can shoot from my wrist, attach to a metal chain, and be able to do it on command? Luckily, we do have lots of experience launching projectiles from my arm, like some of our past projects. So we're going to be using our proprietary Hacksmith Industries Gas Propelled Launching Mechanism, TM. Plus, for legal reasons, we can't show you how that actually works. The challenging part, though, is we've never had to launch a metal chain with the projectile. That adds a lot of weight. I know. Now launching some kind of chain like this would be awesome, but that's pretty heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna store enough of that hidden up my sleeve to be able to shoot any decent length of chain. We could use plastic chain, that's nice and light. That's not really make it real. So I think we might have to use a thinner chain like this. Now all we need is some kind of hook. Aha, nice meat hook. We do still have to worry about recoil though. Got my chain, I got my hook, it's attached to my wrist. We'll see what happens. Come here! <laughs> so if I miss my target, there might be an issue with this coming right back at me. But that's a future Hacksmith problem. Let's get to the design. Based on those tests, we're going to need to make some kind of metal sleeve to protect my arm and mount everything too. We're gonna to need a spot to hold the chain. We're gonna need a spot to hold our patented launching mechanism. It's not actually patented, our launching mechanism. And of course, we're gonna actually need the kunai dart. Let's start with the metal protection for my arm. It should be about 250 millimeters long. And we just do a revolved boss. We get this nice formed piece of sheet metal that should fit on my arm quite nicely. The next step is to make a top plate that also curves around the side and makes room to store the chain. The chain kind of just magically comes out of his arm and that's not gonna work for me, so I need to actually design it into this gauntlet that I'm gonna wear. So this is the top plate that I've already designed. Now it's a sheet metal part, which means it's got three bend lines, this one, this one, and this one. And if we fold them, it makes this cool little shape here. So let's go ahead and build up an assembly using these two parts so we can see what it will look like. And there we go. As you can see, the top plate slides over top of the arm brace and it creates this kind of triangular pocket on the side of my arm. Now we just need to add our launching mechanism, which we can put right here. The last step is to make the kunai. Fairly basic design. It's basically got two hooks in a forward pattern. I think in the movie it's actually got twine or rope wrapped around the handle, so I think we're going to do that too. I've drawn it out and I've put it onto a metal tube which will interface with our launching mechanism. And there you have it. So I decided to also laser engrave Scorpion onto the top plate and I think I'm also going to do a cool version of the Mortal Kombat logo right on top. Now we just have to manufacture it. We're using our new 1.5 kilowatt Krypton fiber laser to cut out the parts for this Mortal Kombat project. Now normally we use our CNC plasma cutter, but the fiber laser actually lets you cut much more precise parts, especially out of thinner material, which is why we chose it for this project. So to form the arm piece to fit my arm, we're gonna be using the sheet metal roller. Time to bend the gauntlet cover. <laughs> 
This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers because Mortal Kombat the movie is coming out on April 23rd. Check the link in the description below to find out how you can watch it near you. When they first reached out, I was super excited. I mean, it's Mortal Kombat, how cool is that? In fact, I was so excited that if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll see I actually made this awesome Mortal Kombat medallion as a way to practice my TIG welding. And the more I thought about it, I was like, maybe I could integrate this into the project. So I think we're actually gonna weld this in place. And it's gonna look really, really cool. Everything seems to fit nicely, so that means it's time to weld. All right, that's the easy part. Now, we need to make our patented launching mechanism. And for that, we're gonna need to use the lathe. So for our launcher mechanism, we actually need an offset hole in this piece right here. So I've actually made an offset jig for it, which looks kind of funny when you turn the lathe on. It's working. That's the last of the parts we need to manufacture. I just need to do some detail work and the assembly. But in the meantime, I've asked Tyler to make me some mannequins because I'm gonna have to I test this I have these somehow. templates and I have this foam. And I have this plastic cement. Together, all of this should be able to create a foam mannequin. I think. First time doing anything like this. Now that all the pieces are cut, the last step is to glue it all together. And for that, I have plastic cement. It takes about 10 minutes to set. I finished the right side and I've gone ahead and pre-assembled the left side. Last step is to assemble them together. This arm is pretty hard to get on correctly. Dude, this dude is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. This looks great, Tyler. I think these will work perfectly as our uh, test subjects for me to uh, skewer with the uh, kunai. But we're gonna need more. Can you make uh, like four more of these? That's gonna take a very long time. Well, you use a laser cutter, right? I did not. You cut these out by hand? Yes. This video is sponsored by Warner Brothers. Check out Mortal Kombat the movie on April 23rd. Here we go. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's do that again.
I broke the chain! That's crazy. How is this that powerful? It literally broke the chain. There can be only one! <laughs> Bullseye! Nailed it. The chain broke again. A couple of links broke. So I've got Bogdan re-welding every chain link. That's kind of funny because I'm chained to him. I can't leave right now. But hopefully the chain won't break again. Fight! Let's see if I can bring that cardboard box over here. Get over here! Let's try using it for its actual intended purpose. Get over here! That was freaking awesome. I felt like Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Huge thank you to our sponsor for this video. Mortal Kombat the movie will be in theaters April 23rd and streaming exclusively on HBO Max for the next 31 days in the US and available for rent in Canada as well as being in theaters. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe. Get over here!